Thanks for tuning in to Happy Nerd Friends. I'm Dan. I'm Drew. And what are we doing today, Drew? We are watching you play the Super Pershing pretty effectively. Me mediocre. This is a pretty good game. Super Pershing is a uh, Tier 8 American premium medium tank. And really, it's medium tank name and only. name only, really. Yeah. And uh, we're playing on mines here, or, or rather I am. You're not in this game at all. Nope. And uh, the Super Pershing I've had for a while, maybe like a year or a year and a half. They got it for a, got it for me for a Christmas one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I never played it a whole lot because I couldn't stand how bad the penetration was. Before the previous patch, the Super Pershing had 170 millimeters penetration on the standard AP shells which just hardly ever worked on anything except for vehicles of lower tier. But even like tier seven heavies would resist your your ammunition. That was a risky shot. Um, I shot your teammate in the <laughs> yeah, butt. I did. Uh, because it's the poor penetration, which really meant that you had to play the Super Pershing like a flanking medium, which it totally isn't. It's but now, slow. oh, it's way too slow. The, the latest patch, 9.17, buff the penetration of the AP shells from 170 to 192 and now it's a whole lot better. You don't have to fire tons of premium ammunition just to be competitive and then also not make any credits. And uh, now you can just fight with the normal armor piercing ammunition in most cases. So on this map I decided to go town and that was mostly just to hold off whatever vehicles came around while our team hopefully won the hill which is pretty important to this map. And we have a decent amount of tanks over here. We got some help on the hill back behind us. And, but really what you're going to see here is just a lot of armor angling. I ricochet or bounce a ton of like, damage. Yeah, like we'll see it at the end. And mostly that's because in this match I'm angling pretty well. I'm using this kind of like, I don't know, this little ditch over here to hide my lower plate, which is probably one of the weakest points of the front of the armor. And at this point, really all they have to shoot me is that place. I just hit that other Super Pershing. That top commander's hatch. The top commander's hatch on the right-hand side of the turret. And also, there's going to be some other targets running around here. The problem I have is there. This, there's this AT-15A in front of me. Another, and he another doesn't, premium tank. Another premium tank. And he doesn't really waste a lot of ammo shooting me directly on. But I keep trying to turn my turret to the right to engage other targets. And he takes advantage of that every time and hits me just in the side of the turret. I see that he was aiming for the commander's hatch, but I wiggled the turret, mm -hmm. so he, he missed. But I'm putting a lot more damage into him than he's putting into me. He's pretty much the only one that damages me this whole time. Exactly, because it's just like he's the only one who's able to hit me in the commander's hatch. The rest of these guys, they just kind of seem to kind of not know what yep, to there do. There he goes. Yeah, there he is again, hitting the side of the turret. I just thought the angle would be too bad for him, but it was just good enough. But he's almost gone. And I think it gets finished off by artillery or someone else. Maybe this T-34. M-12, there it goes. Yeah, there it is. M-12 got him. This guy in the M-12, he really gave us a lot of help. And so now I've fallen back to a, a little position further back so that I can keep that frontal armor towards all of the enemies, including this VK mm -hmm. who, I, who uh, somehow survives that blast between me and the T-34. But he'll be gone soon. And then this is where it really starts to highlight how to, to play the Super Pershing, how not to play it. This guy comes up to me with more health than I had initially, but the difference is I can see his weak point and he can't see mine. And you also have a T-34. That does help a lot. <laughs> but for the most part, I'm gonna be the one that does damage to this guy, just hitting him over and over and over again in that commander's hatch, that annoying tier six heavy tank over there. Just, uh, oh just yeah. farming some damage on him. Like I he... really am. I mean, I'm playing in a, suit on, in a premium tank. Like That's what I need to do. I need to make credits, and I will make credits Quite on this few. match. Um, probably not the greatest shot into his tracks, but it does keep him still for a bit. I thought maybe the T-34 would go out and get him. And then I try maybe like an engine deck shot, but he moves at the last second, and it ricochets. Now the T-34 goes out. <laughs> Balance. Yeah. <laughs> gave, him a, gave, him, gave him the good news, and, uh, and I'm just going to keep hammering away at that commander's hatch. He gives up here, I think. Pretty much. Oh. I mean, his commander's hatch must have like 10 holes through it. Like. <laughs> yeah. T-34 oh. finishes them off. And now we just have this uh, Scorpion G, but he's taking fire from somebody behind us. He's definitely panicking here. He doesn't even shoot you. No, I think he was he looking. Could've. Yeah, he could have, but he might have bounced. He's looking for the right shot. He bounces off the T-34 somehow. And then I finish him off. But Scorpion G has really good penetration. Well, then the Skoda comes around. Out of nowhere. Yeah. He's running away from that T-34. 
what is that, T-43? T-43 is chasing yeah. him, yeah, but he could have gotten our, T, our T-34 yep. and uh, shut him down. And that's pretty much the end of the game. Blocked a total of 1,500 damage, dealt about 3,000 damage of my own. Pretty good game in the Super Pershing. Yeah, it's pretty average. I mean, I got a Mastery Badge first class. I wouldn't say that's average. No, but, like, I'm not putting you down. I'm saying that after this patch, from the replays that I've seen on what replays, most people are doing pretty darn well in this thing because it can do so much more damage now. It can actually compete. Speaking of blocking damage in a Super Pershing, we got another replay of a guy we found that uh, you might find interesting. Tell us about it, Drew. Well, basically, this guy doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, doesn't have a great game. Well, <laughs> he has one very important part in the game. Basically, he holds off this entire side of the map by himself. And how he does this is he gets, in, he gets himself into a pretty decent position, kind of like Dan did in that last match, where they can pretty much only shoot at him from the front. And he blocks an insane amount of damage. Let's take a look. So here we are, watching Koenigst, I believe. We're going to call him Koenig. Koenig, that's easier to say. Yep, and it sounds cool. So Koenig is going to get himself into this position right here, and he is the furthest forward on his team. And he's going to start taking some pot shots, but he is Immediately bouncing. Immediately starts taking fire from the hill directly across yeah. from him. And he loses his observation device, so he's not going to be able to spot uh, but he just continues to block an insane amount of damage here. Really well, he highlights loses like two-thirds of his health before he finally you know, decides, okay, let me look straight at that hill and then just, wow, yeah. over and over and over. And unfortunately for Koenig, he can't deal a lot of damage in return. But what you can see is just the sheer amount of damage blocked from a whole bunch of people straight. I mean, it's probably four or five tanks shooting at him. No, it was an E25, a T34-3, a Jagdpanzer IV, T37. And some of them were shooting high explosive, and that spaced armor just, it takes so much of the damage potential out of high explosive. because and heat, it, ammunition too. Yeah, it's true. And heat. Yeah, because it has to penetrate one plate, then go across space, then penetrate the next plate. So I just wanted to show you guys this particular replay to highlight exactly what this armor is capable of. Unfortunately, Koenig doesn't survive this match. But they do win, mostly because the other side of the map succeeds in defeating all the enemies over there. And his platoon mate in the IS-3 ends up having a pretty good game, too. Yes, he does. So he's blocking, blocking, he's up to, oh man, 78, 8,000 damage, 8,100. It just keeps on piling on. He finally uh, gets behind this rock, still blocking shots off the front of that turret. He's got to be careful, though, where he turns that turret, because the side is not going to... Not going to block him. anything. He's got now, 75 health. These two guys over here decide to come over and, you know, finish him off. And uh, he doesn't do a lot of damage back to him. I don't think he does anything. Nope. But uh, they decide, eh, maybe it's not such a good idea. And so he just sits there, spotting for guys behind him. And, ooh, that was a close shot yep. off that rock. Yeah, but the T-34-3 has got no gun depression. The T-32 doesn't have that great of penetration. So they're going to have to come up here. Oh, that's an unfortunate bounce right a little there. little too high. T-34-3 is like... Thinking. He takes his time, just rolls up right to him, loses almost his health, and then bounces his shot. While Koenig puts some into him, but then from the back of the turret, he gets taken out by another Super Pershing. A lot of Super Pershings being played lately. Yeah, probably, probably because, because of the buff. They're actually good, yeah. Yeah, people, people are doing really well, getting lots of damage dealt, making lots of credits. So total, he blocks 9,020 damage just sitting there in a tier eight medium tank. So that does it for our super Pershing video for today. Remember, if you see one of these things out on the battlefield and you know you don't have the penetration to go through that frontal armor, don't waste your time. Try to hit that commander's hatch. That you might be able to go through the machine gun port. Maybe. Maybe, it's small. It's something most a pretty obvious. high caliber gun. Yeah. Otherwise, wait for him to turn his turret to the side. Not even that much, just enough to get the flat part of that turret. Or well, track him. Track him, flank him, whatever you can do. And if you're into Super Pershing, have fun playing it. That penetration buff is awesome. Mm -hmm. But that'll do it for us today. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.